Hello students, in this video, we will be going to discussing about the time division multiplexing, also called as TDM. In the previously, we discussed about FDM for continuous time signals. Now we are going to be discussing about TDM, time division multiplexing for digital signals. Here, I can multiplex some infinite number of signals, but I cannot show on the, here on the board. For example, I am taking three messages going to be multiplexing. Like, let's take the first message, M1 of T, like M2 of T, like M3 of T. Three messages I take it. Anyhow, what is the first block? We already know. The first block is nothing but low pass filter. What is the work of the low pass filter? Also called anti aliasing filter. What it will do? It will band limit the respective messages to a particular frequency up to where it is having significant frequencies. Up to where it is having the significant frequencies. What is the next block after the low pass filter and PCM? Why? Because TDM is nothing but PCM only. But here you can call NPCM. What is the meaning of NPCM? Where N is nothing but number of signals to be multiplexed. Where capital N is number of signals to be multiplexed. So same PCM only, but here n number of signals we are sending simultaneously. So the next block after the low pass filter in PCM, what is that? Sampler. Here, that is sampling operation as well as multiplexing operation. Sampling operation and multiplexing operation will be done by one switch. Will be done by one switch, which is called commutator. This commutator is a rotating switch which rotates in anti-clockwise direction with uniform speed. The time taken by the commutator to complete one rotation is Ts. This commutator is having some time slots like T1, T2, T3 like slots will be there. What is the meaning of T1 here? The time taken by this switch coming to this point is T1 seconds, coming to this point is T2 seconds, coming to this point is T3 seconds. Like some time slots will be there and our messages are connected to those respective time slots. Like first message is connected to T1, this is T2, this is to the T3. Like we are going to be connecting our messages. So what is the meaning? When time is becoming T1, there is a closed path for the first message. There is a closed path for the first message. What is the meaning of that student? The meaning is that what is the message signal that is M1 of T value at T equal to T1 is going to be passed. First message, first sample. When the time becoming T2, the switch is connected to here. Switch is connected to here means what is the M2 value at that instant is passed. Means the sample of a second message is going to be passed. Like when the time becoming T3, there is a closed path for the third message. Third message, first sample. Like it complete one rotation. When you will get the first, uh, second sample of a first message, Second sample of a first message to complete one rotation is a TS time and coming to the first message one more time, another T1. So, at a TS plus T1, we are getting the first message, second sample. At a TS plus T2, second message, second sample. Like...
at TS plus T3, you will, you will be getting third message, second sample. Like and so on. Meaning is here, the name itself is a time division. Means the total commutator time is going to be dividing between each and every message. Like in FDM, the total channel bandwidth is going to be dividing between the channels. But in TDM, the total time starts. For example, suppose I am saying the time taken by commutator to complete one rotation is, for example, 10 seconds. What is happening? See, 0 to 2, first message, 2 to 4, gap. Like 4 to 6, second message, 6 to 7, gap. Like 8 to 9, third message, like 9 to 10, gap. Means the total time of the commutator is going to be dividing between each and every message. If you see here clearly, at any instant of time, only one message sample is there. But in FDM, all messages are going on simultaneously. In FDM, sharing of channel bandwidth. In TDM, no sharing of channel bandwidth. Are you following my point or not? At any instant of time, one message only. For each and every message, there is a particular time slots. Like for the first message, T1, TS plus T1, 2TS plus T1, 3TS plus T1, like NTS plus T1 dedicated to first message. NTS plus T2 for second message. NTS plus T3 for third message. Like the time slot is fixed. But in FDM, that frequency range is fixed. Are you understanding my point or not? Yeah. And one more thing, if you clearly observe, the input of this commutator is many inputs are there, output is one. Many to one is nothing but multiplexing. Or you can also call many to one means parallel to serial data converter also. TDM is also called parallel to serial data converter. After the commutator, what is the next block we are having? We are having students just like after the sampler, what is the next block in PCM? S quantizer. S here also quantizer. What is the quantizer will do? Quantizer will round off each and every sample value to the nearest quantization level. Try to feel the difference. Not to the nearest integer, nearest quantization level. After the quantizer, what is the next one? We are having students encoder. Encoder will generate a unique binary code. The same procedure. The generated signal we can transmit only through channel because it's a low frequency one or baseband signal. In the channel, regenerative repeaters are common. Like coming to the first block in the receiver, the last block is here, encoder in the transmitter side. So in the receiver side, decoder. What we are getting here is the TDM signal. Like there I written PCM signal. After the encoder, here we are having another rotating switch which rotates in clockwise direction with uniform speed. Which rotates in clockwise direction with uniform speed. The time taken by the decommutator also to complete one rotation is TS which is same as the commutator, which is equal to our sampling interval. Following my point or not? Now, this decommutator, this is called decommutator, which rotates in clockwise direction. This decommutator is also having the same time slots as the commutator. Like, we are having slot T1, like T2, like T3, here we are connecting to the reconstruction filters. Coming to the reconstruction filters, ah, what is a reconstruction filter means? The low pass filter only. Here you will get back M1. Reconstruction filter 2, here you will get back M2. Low pass filter 3, here you will get back 
M3. Like, what is happening there? If we clearly observe, when the decommutator is also uh, the, same speed, the same speed as the commutator I told. When the time is becoming T1, if you clearly see, at T equal to T1, what is available, sir? Exactly. First message, first sample T2. Second message, first sample T3. Third message, first sample. One rotation completed. Second cycle. First message, second sample at Ts plus T1. Ts plus T2. Second message, second sample. Ts plus T3. Third message, second sample. Like all the samples of each and every message is separated and given to their respective low pass filters. What is the low pass filters will do? It will reconstruct their corresponding messages from their samples. This is the overall operation of a time division multiplexing. Same as a PCM, only the additional things are here commutator, decommutator. Here we are n signals we are transmitting. In a PCM, one signal I told. It's a practical one. Practically, we are interested to transmit many number of signals. Huh. The points here, what we need to calculate is that bit rate. If you got the if you got the bit rate, obviously we can calculate the bandwidth because bandwidth is nothing but our minimum transmission is by nothing but RB by First, before calculating the bit rate, let's see the bit duration. Bit duration is denoted with TB. Duration means seconds. If you are observing here, from here to here is called the TS. In each and every TS, in each and every TS, how many samples we are multiplexing? Here, 3. Why 3? Because 3 signals we are multiplexing. So, within TS time duration, we have to transmit 3 samples. Suppose, if I represent, if I represent each and every sample by 2, 2 bits, for example, total how many bits I have to transmit within TS? Within TS, I have to transmit 6 bits. How 6 came? There are three samples, each of two bits. For example, for transmission of each and every bit, I need 10 millisecond. So, total I need at least 60 milli. How you got the 60 milli? There are three samples, each sample of two bits, each bit of 10 millisecond. Now, this is nothing but, what is this three? Number of samples. Number of samples is depending upon Number of signals to be multiplexed. So, capital N. What is this to number of bits per sample? What is this 10 millisecond? Bit duration. So, finally, bit duration TB equal to TS by capital N small n or bit duration TB equal to 1 by capital N small n into Fs. This is the formula for bit duration TB. Are you getting my point or not? Once if we got the formula for bit duration, then what about the bit rate? RB is nothing but 1 by TB. So RB value is students capital N small n into FS. Transmission bandwidth or bandwidth is nothing but RB by 2. The formula same as the PCM, but here n into capital N into will come because n signals we are multiplexing. Now here we will also see if we are using the synchronization bits how the formulas are going to be varied and each and everything will get. Will get. Yeah. Now here what we are doing is uh, in a previously like given the bit rate normal here, what we are doing is, we are adding some synchronization bits, sir. Why we are using some synchronization bits? We are using some synchronization bits at the end of a each frame to make that 
commutator or decommutator are working synchronously. First, what is frame, sir? Frame is of duration TS. What it consists? Frame is consisting of, try to follow. It is having first message bits. What is the message bits? For example, here, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. After the message bits, we will send some additional bits. Practically one bit for synchronization only. Whenever that received at the decommutator, decommutator knows that already all message bits are K. One more time, you can reset to 0. Like, it will ensure that both are working synchronously. If any mismatch in one, that will be gone. Remaining from the next frame itself, one more time, it will synchronize. But as a mathematical to solve the problems I am saying in exams. For example, here, four bits I am using for synchronization. What is happening is, students, these four bits are for synchronization. What is happening? The formula for bit duration. Actually, in each and every duration of TS, there are three sample, each sample of two bit, each bit of 10 milli, plus we are using four synchronization bits, each bit of 10 milli. Where we are using synchronization bits? We are using synchronization bits per frame. For example, if number of synchronization bits used per frame is A, A is the number of synchronization bits per frame. Frame means in each and every TS one slot. Next TS another slot like that. Ah, uh, what is this three capital N? This is small n into TB plus. What is four? Four is nothing but number of synchronization bits into TB. That is nothing but capital N small n plus A into TB. So bit duration TB equal to one divided by capital N small n plus A into TS, I am written as a 1 by Fs. That is the formula for what? Bit, dur uh, bit duration, if A number of synchronization bits are used for frame. Try to understand. Huh. Then what is our B formula? Capital N small n plus A into Fs. Where small a is the number of synchronization bits per frame. Try to understand. Follow. Sometimes in the problem, he might be told that the number of synchronization bits we are using per sample. Per sample means for this sample we are using synchronization bits. For this sample we are using, for this sample we are using. For example, I am using one, one bit for synchronization per each sample. Then see how the formula will change. T S equal to, there are three samples, each sample is representing by two bits, plus another one more bit I am using for synchronization, each bit of 10 millisecond. For example, if the number of synchronization bits used per sample, per sample is B, here A is the per frame, our frame written. Then, this is capital M, this is small n plus b and it is into tb as usual, 10 million. Then what is tb sir? 1 divided by capital N into small n plus b, ts by n, so 1 by fs. Then what is rb formula sir? rb equal to capital N into small n plus b into fs. Here what is b indicates is a, the number of synchronization bits per frame. Clear? Yeah. We got the formula for the bit rate of the TDM system is capital N into small n into fs. This formula is going to be valid when sir? This formula is going to be valid if all messages are having equal bandwidth, if all are having equal bandwidth, all will have the same sampling rate. For example, this is for all messages are 
are having equal bandwidth. For example, if those are having unequal bandwidth, then how the formula of a bitrate will change? That is small n into fs1 plus fs2 and so on fsn. Don't multiply one more time with a capital N. Adding n times or multiplying with n, both will be same. For example, if all these are same, n into fs you need to write. This is the formula for the bitrate. This formula when very, very, very important. Use this formula whenever messages are having unequal bandwidth. Clear? Yeah, corresponding also it will come. Now, how to set the how to set the different different sampling rates is let's take a two simple examples, you will get the clarity, sir. Setting of sampling rate or sampling interval. First case is there are two cases I will explain. First case by considering highest frequency as reference. By considering highest frequency as reference means for example, we are having three messages, 600, 600, 1200. Like we are having three messages. Are you getting my point? Now, how to take the sampling rate reference here? I am considering the highest. Then what is the FS equal at least Nyquist rate now? 2 into 1200, it is becoming as a 2400. Try to see. This is the commutator. First one, how much I need to maintain? At least 1200, but I am maintaining 2400. Is there any problem for the first message? No, taking more number of samples is a good thing only. Second one also, I am taking 2400, no problem. For the third one, I am taking 2400. At least I need to maintain 2400. Yes, I am maintaining, fine. Anyhow, this is the commutator. Then what is the bitrate? Try to say RB equal to capital N into small n into fs, there are three, let's take <coughs> n value not mentioned means let's take one, simple, this is two, four, because all I maintain the equal fs value, so that's why capital N into I return. So how much this is? Ah, it will be 12, nah? so 7200 bits per sample. This is RB value we got when by consider highest frequency as reference. Let's see. Second case. If you consider lowest frequency as a reference by considering lowest frequency as reference. Let's take the same example, three messages, 600, 600, 1200. Now I am taking the sampling rate, FS is, least is a reference, so 2 into 600, which is nothing but 1200, sir. Now follow. This is the commutator. For the first one, at least I need to maintain how much? At least I need to maintain 1200. A sampling rate also 1200, fine. Second one also, at least 1200, as I maintain. For the third one, I am how much I need to maintain? At least 2400. What we are doing is for the third one, we will take as a two channels for the third message. First message one, second message one channel only. For the third one, we will take two. Here 1200, here 1200. So we'll get as a 2400. Now calculate the RB, sir. RB is nothing but different formula. You can you see how I'm using the formula. Small n, small n is 1 into FS1, 1200, FS2, 1200, FS3, 2400 because 2 I take it. And how much is this value? 4800. 
or another version is I can also take R B equal to capital N small n into F S. But here capital N value I take in four because four samples we are considering in each and every T S. Small n is not mentioned one. This is twelve hundred. So four thousand eight hundred. So what is the advantage there in the second one? R B is small. Bitrate is small means bandwidth is small. Like you can divide and you can calculate, or directly you can use this formula also. Here I am showing how you can set the different F FS value. Students will get the doubt, so that's why taking as a mathematical. Clear.